my plush Bronco. So many of you know that I love stuffed animals and plushies. Also welcome, I'm going to be trying like a different kind of video. It's very much inspired by Hopeless Peaches and Emily Artful, but welcome to my story time video. I am Pixie and I love stuffed animals. I actually have a huge collection of growing plushies, so much so that my bed is covered in plushies. The stuffed animal I am going to introduce you guys to today is Bronco. I often change how like I spell his name from like 2Ks to AK or C or 2Cs. I never really nailed it down. Now Bronco is a calico cat plush with a purple bow and blue green eyes. When you shake its head, it makes a purring sound. It's actually under the Kitty Kitty Kittens toy line from the 1990s. They no longer make them, sadly, but before I was born in May 94, my mom came across these Kitty Kitten, these Kitty Kitty Kitten dolls at a store. She bought three of them. A gray and white cat from my sister that, uh, that she named Darian after Sailor Moon's main dude. What up to any, like, Sailor Moon fans from, like, the 90s and 2000s? Hi. <laughs> if you've never watched the original dub of Sailor Moon, don't bother. Stick, stick to the Vista. You're welcome. She got one that I can't recall clearly enough to, like, describe that she gave to my second brother. And the third was the calico that I named Bronco, which was given to me after I was born. I don't know why my first brother wasn't given one, but I suspect it was because he didn't live with us during the time. And that's how I got Bronco, at least from what my mom told me, which may or may not be false. But I've had Bronco since I was a baby. I love him tons. He was the main toy I played and slept with. When my parents divorced in 2006, I chose to go with my mom. I was very much a mama's girl and was also poison against my dad, which I now realize. But when we moved, I had to put all of my stuffed animals in boxes and they were put in storage, which I never saw again. But stories on that for another time. Bronco was the only toy I kept with me. I went from sharing a room with a bunk bed with my sister to living at my maternal grandparents' house, sharing a room and a bed with my mom. I was 11 and she was 31. My mom worked as a plumber for a union. She fell off like the maturity wagon around this point. I believe it was because like she was a teen mom. Like she had my first brother at like 14 and then me at 20s and she had four kids. You can do the math. But like multiple story shorts, like multiple story short, I have trauma, and I had to take on kind of like a caretaker role for her at some point. But fast forward about five years, we moved into a condo with her boyfriend in Atlanta. That caught fire in March of 07, killed our dog. We moved legit four minutes from Alabama, from the Alabama Georgia state line. One of her female, co like one of her few female coworkers, my mom driving me three hours one way to my school in Atlanta because she didn't want to transfer me to the school in that area. My mom sending me to live with my dad and his new girlfriend in 08 of August or September. Her moving me back in with her boyfriend into this rebuilt condo in the summer of 09. Mom and her BF breaking up and us moving back to her parents area in 2010. We lived in some apartment, my second brother moving in with us. The apartment complex was, uh, uh, from what I last heard, was condemned at some point after we were evicted complications. It was two floors with a long staircase and the porch. I was 16. I was attending Marietta High School. My mom's union was give wasn't giving her any jobs. Her only source of income was uh, from child support that my dad gave her every month and my brother working a fast food job. The power went off at least three different times while living there. I recall coming home to my mom just sitting on the couch and watching DVDs of shows she had on repeat. I would get off 
the bus and walk through the door and ask her if she had eaten, B told no. I would make two tomato sandwiches, one I'd give her and one for me, and that would be the only meal we would both eat for the whole day. I didn't eat lunch because we didn't have the money for it. My main meal was a checkered sandwich my brother would bring home from work when my mom didn't pay the electric bill. I still remember having to clean out the freezer that was infested with maggots because no one, my mom who was home, cleaned out the freezer when the power went off. My brother and I were made to do it and nearly vomited trying to clean it. I believe we threw it away. So I don't, I don't even know why we bothered cleaning the freezer if we just threw it away, but it wound up being thrown away. I recall my mom had a bed, though she mainly slept on the couch in the living room. My bedroom was pretty much my book collection, a blue CD player, a blue silk-like blanket my maternal step-grandma nanny got uh, me with a matching pillow and a TV. No furniture, no mattress, my bed was the blanket on the floor. Bronco was my buddy that I cuddled for comfort. When the fire was on, I lit candles in my room for light and warmth. There were many things that happened that bothered me, and now that I'm looking back on it, I realize how fucked up things were. But the power was off. I came home to find all of my things were gone. My mom put all of my things in storage. If it wasn't a thing I took to school, it was gone. My mom loaded me, her DVDs, one or two bags of clothes, and some blankets into the, her car. Uh, and we lived in there for like the next year. I was 16, and that was the last time I saw Bronco. Pretty much once my mom put things in storage and never came back out. She always said later, when we were more stable, blah blah. The only problem is that she either couldn't pay the bill, forgot the pay, whatever it was, she lost the storage room and Bronco and everything else with it. I'm very attached to things, like things don't bully me, they don't hurt me, they can't break my trust. Bronco was precious to me, I actually based a character in a short story off of Bronco, so the lose him was really heartbreaking and upsetting to me. However, I really didn't have any one or anywhere I felt comfortable talking to or voicing my feelings to. Honestly, like, I struggle to express my emotions, voice them at all. It's like, I feel them, but they're hard to put into words most days. That's why I often have to sit and think about it after the fact for a few hours. Sometimes just to, like, think about it. But losing Bronco hurt. It made me so sad, and then I became an adult with a job and my own place. Remember when I mentioned the brand of the toy that Bronco was? Kitty Kitten Kittens? Yeah, I didn't know the brand as a kid. Luckily, Google and eBay exist. So hours of watching and reading articles about 90s toys, and I found it. And I went to eBay looking, searching for another Bronco. And I'm pleased to let you know, I found him. This Bronco has all his fur intact. Something the original Bronco was missing from years of aggressive child love. He doesn't have a purple bow. He came with a purple collar that I took off because I didn't like it. So <coughs> 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 oh, sorry. Coughs. Coughs exist. Alright, where was it? I wrote everything down so I wouldn't forget. Okay, yeah, he came with a purple collar that I took off because I didn't like it. But I spent the money, an amount I no longer recall, but I haven't. He even came with a friend, a white and orange kitty. I've named her Callie. And being able to have a part of like my childhood, even if it's not the original, is nice and comforting. Also, as an added note, I showed my sister the commercial and asked her which one our brother had. He had the tuxedo cat, which I find amusing since I have a tuxedo cat now and so does my sister. <laughs> But yeah, that's my story time. I hope you enjoyed it and the art. Is there a piece of your childhood, like a toy or an item that you've kept throughout the years? Or have gone to get a new one like I did? I'd like to hear those stories. So yeah, bye-bye.